<clears throat> hey guys, it's Rosalind back at you once more again. I hope everybody's doing good on this terrific Tuesday. This is your first time coming to my channel. Welcome, love, and blessings to you. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button so you'll know when I'm going to upload my next video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you and much love to you also. Uh, and thanks for the support. Um, today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Knowing about your Twin Flame or knowing if you have a Twin Flame. But before I get into that, the comments that I've been getting through that you guys have been sending me, oh my gosh, you really know how to touch a person's heart. And it really makes me feel good when I know my purpose in life is actually, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my job, I'm doing my job. I'm telling you, get off off your butt, come on, we got, a, we got a job to do. We have so much healing we have to do. We have so much self-improvement we have to do. And I mean, I feel so good when I can look at my videos and see the comments that you guys are sending. And it's just, it just really warms my heart and much love and many blessings to you. And come on, girl, you really had me going yesterday. Um, you really made my day. So thank you. Um, and it, it just really feels good that I know that I'm sending out good vibes because you never know. It's just like sometimes, you know, like this morning, I woke up irritated, but I'm like, you know what? Shake that stuff off. You ain't, you know what? You can't control other people. So do what you need to do for you and better yourself. That's all you can do. You can, that's all you can do. And if you can present that out and project that out to people, it, it'll go off like a virus. So that's a good thing. That's what I want to do. <laughs> So, but anyways, today, my video, Twin Flame 101, about knowing your twin flame. Um, it's a mirror image of two different people, and their soul is split into those two different people. They share a soul. And you don't actually have to always look like your twin flame. You know, it's just with me, me and my dad, it's just like I'm a female version of him. Um which is crazy uh they say that you have distinguishing marks sometimes you know you might have the same facial features like with me i have like back in the 70s you would see my dad's you know uh little moles and stuff he had on his face you know the distinguishing mark with that mold that he has and i have the same exact one and what's crazy i have my aunt's uh mold that she has on her face too and i also have my dad's dimples so, um, which is really crazy, um, and they say you do a lot of facial features, they, they're sim similar, in which I do, I've noticed that I do a lot of facials, facial expressions like my dad, which is also crazy, and the other things is just like the love that you have for your twin flame is like no other, like you can try to compare any love that you have ever had for anybody. And it will not compare with all the love that you have for just all those group of people just for this one person it will magnetize all that and you learn off of them they learn off of you everything that their weak weak points are you're helping them with it's your strong point is their weak point and vice versa so with my dad he helps me and what's crazy is they try to tell you that you only have one twin flame. I actually have two extra ones. And um, one, I don't know for sure if she knows if she's my twin flame or not. But that's another story. <laughs> but the other one, it is just crazy because we read each other. We finish each other's sentences. It's like I could be thinking something and they could be, you know, he could be saying it. And I'm like, stop doing that. That gets so irritating. It's like... You know, both of our, we have the same tattoos on the same side, and it's crazy. So, um, it's just one thing after another. It's just like you, you can get aggravated with that person, and you're, you know, either one's the chaser or one's the runner. 
so it, it's just like it's a cycle you, you guys can't stop being around each other you yearn for each other like you, you're, you're a drug it's just like before i had to ask them did you you know you do some voodoo on me did you hide something of mine and get it to because i can't get rid of you you know i can't get away from you it's just annoying but then there's times where it is just lovely at the same time so it, it's just like you, you learn so much from each other you know you, you go through your ups and downs but they're teaching you they're teaching you how to love yourself to love yourself more that's one sign the other sign is when you know that you've probably seen them somewhere before they look so familiar to you even though that's probably your first time seeing them you're like okay do you know this person I like, know nah. or uh, oh, okay well you must know that person because uh, no you in different lives you guys have been together your souls are related not related but they they are acquainted so and then there's sometimes where if you have a sexual encounter oh my gosh it's, it's, it's just it's just out there <laughs> it's just really out there it's out of this world <clears throat> and then it's just stuff that you read about I learn every day. It, it, it's just like you know when they're feeling upset. You know when they're bothered by something. You actually know when they're happy by something. And that's the one thing it teaches you to do. It teaches you how to love yourself. And it's just like when you have this twin flame, you're always searching for them, even before you meet. You're always searching for them. Or you don't know who you're exactly searching for. Or you know this person is looking for you, but you don't know exactly who it is. So it's just like one thing after another after another. But when you finally get that reconnection, it's right at that exact moment when it's like, you know what, it's time for us to reconnect. It's time for us to have our reunion. And then I, I've explained that to you guys of how my encounter did with my dad and it was just it was amazing it was weird and it was scary at the same time it's like he walked into me and it, it just felt like he just stepped inside of the suit and it was just crazy you know i'm feeling tingles all over my body i'm getting excited i'm getting scared like what are you doing but you know i'm sorry baby i'm sorry i get tired of when you say i'm so sorry because he did that recently he was like, I'm sorry. I'm like, oh, Lord, here we go. I got to go through this again. Okay. So it it's a good feeling because it's like I've said before, when I can look at the videos I just made because I was in it and I was really quiet before. Like, I don't know how people are going to get me because this is going to sound so weird. Now I'm like, you know what? Let me hit you up on something if you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> because it's just learning new things every day is it is an exercise for our mind because it's just like a mind is a very terrible thing to waste if you don't use it, it it's just no kind of good but um it, it was just like searching like for my dad i knew back when i was two and three that i know i had a sole purpose it's just like when i would go out especially when i was in germany and I would see people and I was like, oh, they're happy. And I'm like, hi. You know, and I'll see somebody look sad and they look lost. And I would ask them, I'm like, is it okay if I give you a hug? Like, I would run up to them, like, snatch out of my mom's hand and run up to them and say, can I give you a hug? And that's the best thing you can do is get a hug from a baby, especially I was a cute girl thing. So, <laughs> so it was like, it felt really good to actually be able to share love like that with people and just to know that I'm doing what I need to do and it just makes somebody else want to go out there and do something and just like when they hear my story like girl you didn't go off oh trust me I had my moments with people I really have but it's just the fact is you have to learn not to let people have power over you like that anymore you have to learn how to just let it go and sometimes that's hard to do because it, people can really make you mad <laughs> it can really make you mad and but 
it's just like you have so much energy. It's better to put your energy into something positive. It's just into the, rather than to put it into nothing. Just walk away. And that's what my dad has taught me. That is what my other twin flames has taught me. Without them really realizing it. Because there's always one that's awake and there's always another one that's asleep. And sometimes they can both be awake at the same time and they're both just soul searching. To see what they can find to better themselves to be a better person they are supposed to meant to be. So that's what my video is about today, guys, about the twin flame. So hopefully, you know, if you know you've been searching for somebody and just don't know who it is, maybe you need to go find out and see who is your twin flame. So I will talk to you later. Much love and much blessings. So I will talk to you later. Peace. Wow, and like I said, I don't know if I told you guys I'm listening to Tahitian music that's relaxing and it's stress free. Because after I put this on, I feel I feel better. It just makes me feel peaceful, like I'm gonna run through some daisies. So <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. Much love to you. Look, bye bye.